Hello, welcome to another devlog. The last time I did one of these, I was in the middle of um, the the Gothic game jam, and I was doing pretty well at uh, devlogging my process. I made a few during it, and then in the second half of it, I uh, I totally ran out of time, and uh, I didn't get any more done. There, it wasn't possible. Several times I thought about it, and there was just uh, just no time to to fit it in. Um, but I finished my game, and I'm pretty happy with uh, how it came out. I have planned like uh, another one of these devlogs, sort of deconstructing it a bit and talking about what I did and how I did it, uh, which I'll record soon. Uh, but I have some other stuff to do first, and I'll talk a bit about some of that today. Um, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with how the jam went and with the game I made, which, uh, I'll link to below. It's called As a Glow Brings Out a Haze. And, um, no, I'm, I'm pretty happy with what I did. It was too big of a project. Not for the time allotted. I mean, I got it done a day before the deadline, but um, it just consumed too much of my time during that, that month, I think. It wasn't wasn't good to be like so totally focused. I should have uh, picked a slightly smaller scale project. What I produced in the end was sort of a 26,000 word short story with multiple branches and choices in it, so that any time you you play through it, you get about 4,000 of those words. Um, and that's cool, but it's also hard to construct. And, uh, well, but I'm happy. Anyway, I don't really want to talk about that. Um, the reason I haven't started, I haven't done a devlog about that or followed that up is that I really want to um, get back to my previous project, the one which I haven't spoken about on here for a long time, uh, Excuses Galore. Um, I want to get back to it because it's been stuck in a sort of limbo for a while um, because my music system, which is sort of the last stage of the project, was just not working and I wanted this complicated thing. Again, I've talked about it before on these devlogs. So to, I spent today, most of today, uh, rewriting the music system more or less from scratch and there weren't any fundamental problems with it but it's based on code that I wrote a long time ago it's a bit sloppy and um, and it just it just wasn't quite working properly the idea of it is to um, play uh, simultaneously a whole bunch of different musical loops and um, to um, as the game progresses, as you shift through, as you shift quite quickly through different steps of the of playing, um, that those loops transition, they fade in, they fade out, and I wanted quite a lot of control over all of that, almost like a mini door, a mini uh, you know piece of audio software. Um, I wanted all of the clips to be synchronized and um, I think I've more or less got there now so I'll, I'll show this to you. It's um, not perfect, it's not 100% smooth but it, it basically works. I have um, these six different music tracks that I'm using. I could have as many as I wanted. Um, this is, is probably going to stick at six. And then I have a bunch of scenes that I can send to it. And depending on what the scene is, it'll queue up different loops on the different tracks and control the volume and stuff. So Oh, sorry. So yeah, this is 
This is pretty simple right now. This is just four different uh, audio sources in Unity, each of them playing a, a different loop. But they are all synchronized. They've all started at precisely the same sample so that their loops, which are all of, or which can be all of different lengths, all synchronized. They're all of different lengths, but they, they're they all a fixed number of bars and with a fixed bar length. And then if I want to transition to another scene, it'll do it without cutting in. It'll wait for the next bar to happen before it changes any of the sounds. And it can fade all the stuff in and that. It doesn't look like much, but I've been tearing my hair out over this system for, well, not literally for months, but I've been trying to solve this problem for a long time and distracting myself with other stuff to avoid uh, dealing with it. And it's more or less working now. So that's cool. I really hope to get Excuses Galore finished as soon as possible. I'm not going to predict when that's going to be, but um, um, the idea is really to um, crack away at it, sort out the all of the little niggles and things. It's mostly working. You can it can be played through. Um, and it works. You can get to the end. Well, pretty much works outside of this music system. Um, my next step now that I've got here is that I will um, try and out iron out a few little niggles in here. There are probably a few loops that I should discard, and a couple of others I should tidy up. And I wonder if maybe my synchronization code could be a little bit more efficient. Um, but mostly to get this into the game so that the, the button presses or the, the progression through the game triggers the, um, the loops rather than the system right now where I can press a button to do it. Um, and in addition, the, the game involves a loop of, uh, of a, sort of a daily cycle. You do similar things each day. Um, the number of days ticks up until eventually the game ends. And I want the music to, um, to subtly shift and change a bit as you progress through those days. So each day will have roughly the same musical structure, um, but I'm gonna stick some filters on these things and um, some effects and try and as subtly as possible sort of shift the background, uh, following along the, the progression of the, of the game. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. And yeah, hopefully, I'll get that one finished soon. Um, I will also, this week, hopefully record a devlog about the, the jam game. And um, and then I may do another jam at the end of this month. Fingers crossed. Uh, okay, I think that's all for now. Toodaloo.